Hey guys, just letting you know, we charge a standard fee for all the reviews that we do here. This is not meant to be an endorsement, it just helps us to keep the site running. All right, let's jump into it. Hey guys, what's going on? Tyson here. I've got a cool accessory for you to check out today. We are looking at a folding solar panel made by the Electric Bike Company. Let's take a look at it here. The, the bike that it's on, this is the Model X from the Electric Bike Company. This is my personal bike. I've owned it for a few months. I love it. It's a lot of fun. So I've been super excited to check out this solar panel ever since I heard that they were going to be making it. And you can see it right here. I've got it mounted on the side of my rear rack and it's these hooks that come with it to mount it on here. I'll lift it up so you can see. They just kind of set down on there like that. And I, I will say if you're going to be riding around with this, that can bounce off. I was a little bit I guess there's some room to improve in the mounting style here. Uh, you can switch these hooks out pretty easily for something else that would maybe clamp on there. You could also, you know, if you had something else sitting on top of here that would hold it down, that would take care of that as well. And 13.1 pounds is the weight on this. That's for the entire, you know, bag, the folding solar panel, and all the cords and the controller that are in there as well. So we're going to pop this off of here so that you can take a look. I really like the design on the carrying case here. I think it looks really nice. This just pops open here, and we've got Velcro keeping it closed. And then I'm going to set the camera down so we can get this out and let you take a look at everything inside. All right, guys, so I've got everything laid out here so we can take a look. I flipped the case over so you can take a look at the hooks here. They just slide down like this to remove, and so you could pretty easily replace these with something that would be able to clamp down and stay more securely attached if you need to and just I, I did I went off a curb and you know took it up pretty slow but just the bounce from going down the curve uh, down the curb excuse me did make one of these hooks bounce off and I had to stop and adjust it so be aware of that if you're gonna be cruising around with one of these now in the bag you also get cables so we get this controller right here that will connect to the solar panel, of course, and then we'll connect to cables that can connect to the battery on the bike. This is the cable that does that, connects to the controller here, and then this end, of course, will connect to the battery. It'll connect right into the charging port right here. Now, something I do want to point out about this is this only works with batteries from the electric bike company. It's designed to work with their bikes, of course. Uh, you know, if you had a battery that had a similar charge port, of course you could do that. And, you know, it's it's a solar panel. So you, you could certainly, you could pick up a different controller, you could just get a different cable to attach on there to connect it to different batteries. But as it ships, this is designed purely to work with the bikes from the electric bike company. All right, so I'm gonna get things unfolded and set up here so that you can see it in action, and then I will pick the camera back up there. All righty, folks, we are set up and charging. As you can see, you're looking at about four feet by three feet on the dimensions when it is unfolded. This thing is very simple to set up. They did a good job labeling everything on the controller here. We've got labels for, yeah, this connects to the panel and this connects to the battery. Connections are easy and you know obviously the battery connection is pretty straightforward to figure out now let's talk about uh power on this thing uh, it's a 150 watt solar panel and according to the electric bike company this can charge your battery from zero to full in four hours as if you're using their standard capacity battery which is a 48 volt 11.6 amp hour so zero to full in four hours that's awesome we're gonna find out how well that actually performs i'm going to i'm going to let this charge and then we'll you know we'll see how it does my battery is at right about 50 percent right now so we'll see how long it takes to get to full and it is a bright sunny day as you can see my understanding for solar panels is actually the i guess the peak weather conditions for them to perform well is if you have a cold day that's also really bright and sunny it's a pretty hot day today so you know we'll see how that shakes out i will be checking back in with you guys once it does finish charging and while we're waiting for it to charge, we can take a look, a closer look at the construction and the materials here. I like the construction on this. It has a nice sturdy feel to it. This sort of like a, a rubber backing behind the panels feels great. And I think it'll be pretty durable in terms of standing the test of time. And I also appreciate that 
the way it folds, it folds the panels on the inside and then folds up. And then, you know, you also put it in the carrying case. So that really helps to protect those. We get these eyelets, three on each side. It can be really handy to tie it down if you ever, you know, you're trying to use it. Uh, maybe you set it up on a moving vehicle or it's a windy day or something like that. Appreciate seeing those. The canvas material for the case, so you're on here and then also on the carrying case itself. It's a pretty thick, pretty thick material. If you ever used, uh, you know, like a, a messenger bag, it, it's the same type of material. Uh, it's got a good sturdy feel to it. And it seems like they did a good job with all of the stitching on it as well. Let me pull this off of here again so we can look at that. The sleeves where the hooks slide into right here. They have nice thick stitches on there. And so I've only ridden around with it a little bit so far, of course. And when I was first looking at it, that was something that I saw as a potential thing, a potential area of concern, is wondering how durable these were and how well they would hold up. So far it's been great and they seem to be stitched on there well. So I think that those will do a good job of staying in place. Moving back over here to look at the cords and connectors. I like the connectors, they snap in easily and I have these safety latches here so that they won't come unplugged. There's some spots where I would probably wrap it with electrical tape. Uh, right here is a good example where there's some exposed inner cord there. And so I, I'm probably going to put some electrical tape around that just to make sure that that is well protected. And possibly around here as well just to make sure nothing gets in there. But overall solid work on the cords. I like the controller as well. It feels really heavy and it has an activity light down here, so when you're charging, you can see that. All right, guys, so the results are in, and it took one hour and 39 minutes to go from half full to a full battery. That's awesome, better than advertised. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Now, keep in mind for that, the battery readout on these bikes, it only goes in 25% uh, increments. So, you know, it said it was at half full, but it's, you know, that's, it was around half full. It wasn't exactly 50% that I can say for sure. But still, going from you know half or 50% on the readout all the way to full, that is great. I I like this solar panel a lot. I love the folding compact design. Just 13 pounds, 13.1 pounds is what I weighed it at. That is that is totally doable to transport this around with you. And the possibilities that it gives you for off the grid traveling and camping, that's just super cool. You know, for me, I, I love that kind of thing where I could put a, you know, just stick my little tent on here and some supplies and just go on a trek with this thing. And, you know, we got the charging port, of course, under the, uh, under the screen on this bike so I can charge my phone or whatever I might need to on there. That's super cool. And something worth mentioning too is that, you know, when you, if you buy one of these, they're set up to work with bikes from the electric bike company. You know, they don't have adapters to plug into anything else, but if you wanted to adapt it, you could do that pretty easily. They use standard cabling and connectors, so you could get a different connector, so you can connect it to a, you know, maybe a different battery if you already have a bike that you love, but you need a really good solar panel. That could be cool. You could also connect it to other batteries if you've got some you know, deep cycle batteries or something like that that you want to be able to charge up while you're trekking. So while I definitely see you know, the reason for designing this as an accessory for an electric bike company bike, one thing that I love about it, it's you could use it for so many different things. I think that's super cool. So yeah, super fun to be able to check this out. Big thanks to the guys at the Electric Bike Company for letting me check it out. It's a lot of fun. And for the full written review, specs, all the you know the detailed write-up and everything, we'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. If you've got questions about this solar panel, how it works, any you know if you've tried it, any comments on it, then chime in in the comments and let us know what you think. And as always, ride safe. We'll see you next time.